Hey everyone, welcome to the fifth part of this logo design course where we will vectorize our logo. In this video, we will convert our sketched logo into digital form by using Adobe Illustrator. Additionally, I will guide you through the steps of creating final files for the client. First of all, let's capture a photo of our sketched logo by using a mobile phone and then switch to Adobe Illustrator. First of all, go to File and select New. Then select the units to pixels. Select the value of width to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels. Then select the color mode to RGB and simply select Create. Now, if your workspace isn't looking like this one, then simply click on this workspace icon and select Essentials Classic. And now we will place our sketched logo on this artboard. So simply go to file and select place. Then select the destination where you have saved your sketched logo and simply select it. And then drag the cursor from this intersection to this one. Then reduce the value of opacity to 20%. Then go to windows and select layers. Click on this drop down menu and click on this one to lock the image layer. Then select the polygon tool, simply left click, select the number of sides to 3 and radius to 100 pixels. Now it doesn't need the fill color, so we will simply cancel it and apply it a stroke color like this red color. And select the value of stroke width to 4 points. And then simply drag this triangle at this position. And simply adjust the dimensions by holding down the shift key. Then select the scissor tool and click once at this path. After that simply select direct selection tool and drag this anchor point like this. Also drag this anchor point at this path. Then convert anchor points to smooth and simply play with this handle to adjust the geometry. Also for this one, again click on this icon and play with the handle. Now select this anchor point and also select this one by holding down the shift key. Then simply drag this circular icon just like this. Also select this top anchor point and again drag this circular icon like this. Now simply reduce the dimensions by holding down the shift key. Now it doesn't need this reference image layer, so simply go to windows and select layers and click on this icon to hide the image layer and now it's time for the brand name so simply select this text tool left click and write the brand name which is Amana Phi now I want to change the font to Sora so simply write S O R A and I will select Sora semi bold then click on this character and reduce the spacing between the alphabets to minus 40 points. Select both of these parts, go to windows and select align. Then select horizontal align center. Now simply press Z and zoom in by dragging the cursor. Now select only this icon and adjust the dimensions as per your choice. Then select the value of stroke to 16 points. Then go to object. Select path and select outline stroke. And now we will apply the colors as per the design brief. So simply select this one and write the value of color code to 0F92FF and select OK. And for the typography, first we will convert this font into a path. So simply go to type and select create outlines. And then to apply the color, again click on this one. And write the value of color code to 4B5462. Now I will take you through the steps of creating final files for the client. Remember that the steps I am about to demonstrate are not standard method for providing or generating the logo files. This is the approach I personally use to create files for my clients. I usually provide my clients with these file formats SVG, AI, EPS. PDF, JPG and PNG. First of all, let's discuss SVG. SVG is an editable source file that can be used and edited in multiple softwares like 
Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape, Corel Draw, Affinity Designer, etc. Next is AI. This is also an editable source file, but this file format is specific for Adobe Illustrator. Next one is EPS. This is an open source vector file that is mostly used for printing purposes. Then we have PDF. This is an important file format for the client. This is also an editable file that can zoom to infinity without any loss in design quality. But this file is very important for the client because PDF is commonly and widely supported format for everyone. This file is crucial part of final files as many clients are not able to check the source and vector files as these files are specific for the designers. And also these files require specific softwares unlike PDF. The next is JPG. This is an image file. And lastly we have PNG. This is also an image file but a transparent one. Now without any further delay, let's proceed to create the final files for the logo design. Before saving the final files, simply select both of these parts, right click and select group. Then go to windows, select align, then select align to artboard and select horizontal align center and also vertical align center. Then simply increase the dimensions by holding down the shift and alternate key. First of all, we will save the file in SVG format. Now to save the logo files, simply go to file and select save as. Simply create a folder which says logo files. And select the format to SVG. And name the file as source1. You have to make sure that image location must be set as embed. Now simply select OK. Again go to file and select save as. This time we will select AI format and simply name the file as source2. Just select OK. Again go to file and select save as. This time select the format to EPS which is vector file. So simply name the file as vector and just select OK. Now again go to file, select save as and this time select the format to PDF and name the file as document. And now it's time for the images. Now there are two types of images. One that covers the whole artboard and two that covers only the logo design. So first of all, we will save the image as a whole artboard. So go to file, then go to export and select export for screens. Select the format to PNG and select export artboard. And it will create a folder with the name 1x. And now to save the image in JPG format, go to file and again select export for screens. This time select the format to JPG with 100% quality and select export artboard. Again it will save the image in the folder 1x. Now we will save the image that only covers this logo. So go to file, export and select export as. Simply select the folder, select the file format to PNG and select any name like 01 and export. Select the resolution to 300 ppi. Now if you only want to export this icon, then simply right click and select ungroup. Select only this icon, go to file, select export selection. Select the format to PNG and select export asset. And again it will save the image in 1x folder. Now we will also save the black and white versions of our logo design. Now let's switch to the folder where we have saved our final files. Now we will simply rename this 1x folder to images. Now this PNG file has transparent background and this JPG file has white background. And now to send these files to the client simply switch to the main folder, right click and select add to archive, write the name for the file. And here we have the formats. You can select any format, but I usually prefer zip format. Then select OK. 
and it will create a zip file. And now we can simply send this file to the client. And we are done with today's video. I hope you learned something from this video. Until next time, take care and have a nice day.